it's Michael here from RuePlay, and today we are going to be playing a Little Miss Inventor Biology. Uh, now this game is actually part of a STEM game bundle that features Little Miss Inventor and has all of her Mr. Men, Little Miss friends, as they explore things like math, science, engineering, coding, so much more. And these games are actually all featured in RuePlay, if you guys don't know what that is. It is the platform that features hundreds of fun educational games. Uh, has all your favorite characters like the Mr. Men Little Miss characters, Garfield, Moomin, so many more. Uh, if you guys want to try it out yourself, there is a link in the description box below. Now, before we get started, I do have a question to ask everyone who's watching. Now, biology is one of my more favorable science topics. Um, I love to learn about germs and the human body and the bodies of animals and everything like that. Uh, so my question is, uh, what is your favorite uh, science topic? Uh, I also really love astronomy, I love chemistry as well. I was really into physics. Uh, physics um, was it's all about you know gravity and how fast and how slow things go. But um, I think biology is one of my more favorite ones. Uh, so we'll get started right now. I'm going to click on the play button right here. Now, if you guys don't know, so the game here with Little Miss Inventor, she created this huge uh, machine to help uh, heal all of her sick friends. As you can see, they're all sitting there on the chairs right now. Uh, she is Little Miss Inventor the Doctor for this game. Uh, and uh, we get to help each of them out and we get to discover what's in their body. It really helps with finding out um, things inside the human body like bones and tissue and germs and things like that. So um, we'll get started. I'll, I'll, uh, we'll help heal five characters in this game, uh, in this playthrough rather. Uh, so I'm going to start off, I'm going to, let me choose a patient or select a patient. Uh, I like Mr. Strong. He has this uh, odd square body. Uh, so I'm going to choose Mr. Strong here. There you go. Mr. Strong needs to, Mr. Strong needs to get uh, healed up so he can become strong again. He looks very sick. So we're going to start with the uh, body scan right here. So I'm going to click on that. And it looks like we are trying to fill in his respiratory system. So the respiratory system is the system in your body that helps you breathe. So when you breathe in and out, the air goes through. So uh, let's see here. So the air goes through your nose, which is this pointy thing right here. There you go. And then it goes down your nasal cavity, which is that, uh, into the trachea which goes down there, and then that goes into your bronch bronchi, and then the bronchi goes uh, into both of your lungs to give the air to flow through. So that is your respiratory system, if you guys didn't know. And that's what uh, Mr. Strong's respiratory system looks, so that's good to know. Uh, looks like we have, we're doing an x-ray here, and there's a couple uh, broken um, parts on him, on his bones, so uh, let me just click on this. So there's one in his skull. Uh, one right by his cheek, this one by his elbow as well, or his shoulder, sorry. Uh, let me just scroll down here. Uh, I think this is his femur, so I think he broke one on his femur. And then his foot. So yeah, so his right foot, his cheek, his skull, his left turbicle, and his right femur. So, uh, poor Mr. Strong has a lot of fractures everywhere. Maybe he's been working out too hard and broke a bone or something. Uh, we'll go next, and it looks like he also has some uh, um, wounds on his face. So uh, we have four bandages. Let me just click on where these wounds are. So there's a small one right here by his mouth. Uh, there's one right here as well. There's one right here as well. And I'll put one more right here. There we go. Great. So his bandages are complete. And it looks like Mr. Strong is all well and happy now. That's good. He can. Go back to uh, not being weak, which is the opposite of strong. Um, so we're gonna choose character number two or patient number two. Uh, I love Little Miss Sunshine. Uh, she is adorable, so I'm gonna choose her. Little Miss Sunshine. She needs to be, you know, brightened up again. Hopefully, we can heal her. Uh, she's walking in there. Great stuff. We're gonna start the body scan again, and uh, and it looks like this is. Her, let's see, what is this? Her heart, this is her um, circulatory system. So that's uh, how the blood flows through your body. So uh, there are veins, and there are arteries. I put the heart there, and the heart beats the blood uh, in and out of your veins and arteries. And the aorta is what um, 
house pump that in there. So there you go. It works out. That's her body. Lots of colors. I didn't know the veins can be so stringy. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so uh, here we're gonna do just like an annual checkup on her. So we can use the thermometer, which is the first button right here. And I guess we're gonna stick that in her mouth so uh, we can take her temperature. So there you go. She is uh, a good temperature, which is good. Uh, next is her heart. So I guess we're gonna see um, her beats per minute. So that's how many times your heart beats within 60 seconds or a minute. So I'm gonna put that around her chest, there it is. Or her heart, sorry. Good stuff, 123 beats per minute, that's good. And then her blood pressure. So we're gonna put this around her, uh, her wrist and then we're gonna start pumping. So I'm gonna just press the pump button. There you go. Great stuff. Your vitals are good. And now it looks like we are uh, looking at her germs. So I'm gonna click on each of them. There you go. Get these germs out of the way. Now, if we take too long, these germs will multiply because that's how germs spread. So I'm gonna click on each of these as fast as I can. Oh no. There you go. And there you go. Disinfected everything. Perfect. And just look how happy she is. So Little Miss Sunshine is perfect. Uh, next one here, let's choose for our third patient. Uh, I love Mr. Tickle. I'm gonna choose Mr. Tickle. His arms are uh, super wavy and swirly. It's fun. There you go. We'll bring him in there. Start the body scan again. Uh, looks like this is his nervous system. So the nervous system is the system that uh, helps you uh, move your body, gets you, give you the senses and your feelings in your body. So uh, we'll start with the brain, as you can see in this corner here. Go. I'm just gonna move this up here. The brain sends signals down into your uh, nerves, which gives you the feelings that you get in your skin and your body. And the spinal cord uh, also um, gets the, the, the waves into the spine so you can actually move your body and get these feelings. So there's like a one big working machine. Um, so we're gonna click on, I guess he has some fractures as well. This one on his cheek. I'm gonna scroll down here, one on his uh, arm, uh, one on his hand. There's also one here on his other femur and then his foot. No, his eye. So he has crashes on his cheek, his right foot, his left femur, his humerus, and his right finger. He had a tumble, I guess. Uh, it looks like he has some bandages as well, so I'm gonna help him out here. I'm gonna put one right there, put one right there, put one right there, and I'll put another one right there as well. Great stuff, bandages are complete, and it looks like Mr. Tickle is ready to head out and tickle more people. Uh, let's see here, who should our fourth patient be? Um, I like Mr. Uh, Mr. Bump, I like his bandages. So it looks like Mr. Bump, you know, he clearly fell too many times or something happened to him, so he is in need of some help and I'll, I think we should uh, help cure Mr. Bump now. I'm walking in there. Great, so we're gonna start the body scan. And again, this is also his nervous system again, so if you guys don't remember, the brain goes on top right here, and then the spinal cord goes in the middle right here, and then his nerves. There you go. Perfect, that is good. And I guess he has more fractures as well, similar to uh, what happened to Little Miss Sunshine, I think. Not Little Miss Sunshine. Um, Lil, uh, Mr. Tickle, sorry. Uh, so he has one on his skull, one on his shoulder, gonna head down here, one on his arm, top of his femur, his knee. Uh, so there you go. So left skull, uh, sorry, left hip, his skull, his left ulna, uh, his right tubu tubicle, and his right uh, knee, his left tubicle, sorry. Uh, he has fallen so many times, oh my goodness. And I'm gonna put some bandages on this guy again. There you go, and there you go. It looks like Mr. Bump is ready to head out and maybe not fall again. <laughs> um, last character, our fifth and final character. 
Uh, who do we want? Um, I, uh, I have this personal love for Mr. Greedy. I think Mr. Greedy, um, it's just greedy. He eats too much. He takes too many things. So let's, um, let's just, uh, give some pity to Mr. Greedy. Uh, so we'll choose Mr. Greedy as our fifth and final character, uh, to help heal. We're gonna start his body scan. And uh, it looks like this is his digestive system, so it's perfect for Mr. Greedy. He ate too much, so we're gonna see um, how his food digests. Uh, so his mouth is where, you know, things go in. And then from there, his esophagus, uh, his stomach here. Uh, so it goes through his esophagus down to his stomach. Uh, the liver helps do some filtering as well as the pancreas with the blood and then his intestines. So the food travels down into his intestines and then gets digested. So that is his uh, digestive system. Uh, I guess we will help uh, find out everything about him with his temperature. So I'll put that to his mouth. <laughs> it's a low, uh, a low temperature, which is good. So he's not, um, he doesn't have a fever or anything. Uh, we're gonna find his beats per minute. So let's find his stomach, or his heart, sorry. There it is. Uh, he has a high, uh, blah, a high uh, beats per minute with his heart. And then lastly, his uh, heart rate, or not his, uh, his uh, blood pressure, sorry. I'm gonna pump that, see how well it's doing. He has a low blood pressure, that's good. Uh, high blood pressure is not good. Um, if you do have high blood pressure, you should probably go to a doctor or get a medication to help sort that out. Um, but low blood pressure, great. Uh, looks like, oh, there's more germs, so I'm gonna start clicking on these. There you go, let's zap them away. Bam, bam, perfect, disinfected. And that's it, Mr. Greedy is all good to go and he's gonna be able to go out and eat more food. <laughs> uh, so that's uh, that's essentially a little Miss Biology. You can keep going, uh, I've collected 13 stars that you can see up there. Uh, you can collect all the stars here, help heal all of little Miss Inventor's friends, get them you know, healed up and ready to go enjoy their day. And again, this game is really helpful to help uh, find out um, everything about the human body, find out about the nerves, the systems, uh, talk about germs. Uh, it's a really great way to learn all of that if you're really interested in it. Uh, and yeah, so this is Little Miss Inventor Biology. Um, that's it for me for right now. Again, if you guys are interested in playing, you can click on the link in the description box below to play. And if you guys love this video, uh, feel free to click on that big red subscribe button. Uh, on YouTube, uh, and yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys again. Uh, again, my name is Michael from Replay, so uh, take care guys, and talk to you later. Bye.